Finding the right home when you're studying abroad is super important, especially if you're living oceans away from home. In this video, I'll take you through my journey of finding my home away from home in London and share a few tips with you that might help you too. First things first, let's browse through LSE's accommodation page. You'll find virtual tours to explore rooms and common spaces like gyms, receptions, etc. Note that intercollegiate halls are not LSE exclusive. So if you're someone who wishes to mingle with students from other unis, you can go for intercollegiate halls. I personally wanted to go for an LSE exclusive hall. Start by making a checklist of things. First, what kind of room are you looking for? Sharing, ensuite, double ensuite, flat. Second, what's your budget? How much do you want to spend on rent as compared to other things? Is there an accommodation providing the kind of room you want within your budget? And then you decide accordingly. Third, facilities. What would you want? Game room, gym, bicycle parking, study area. Check out what facilities these accommodations provide. Look at them through the virtual tours and then decide which one you want to go for. Fourth, very important one is the distance from LSE. How far are you willing to travel to save on rent? What transport would you prefer? Bus, bike, walk? These details are provided right on the LSE accommodation pages. Fifth, connectivity. How connected is this area by tube or bus? Look it up on Google Maps. Um, LSE accommodation also suggests different, the closest tube routes and bus routes. Six, location benefits. What are the grocery stores nearby? Any culture specific shops you might prefer? How safe is this area? Can you find these things written in the review section? Pro tip, something that I had additionally done was contact someone I knew who was studying in LSE and ask them about their accommodation experiences, their friends' experiences with other accommodations and that helped put a lot of things in perspective. Another important thing to check out is things to do. Pubs, parks, football fields. What do you do when you want to chill and is it close by? LSE accommodations are located at prime spots which are near some of the most famous tourist spots in London and you can choose which one you'd like to be close to. Lastly, one super important thing is the accommodation culture. If you're someone who's looking to build a community of friends or interact and mingle with other people, then make sure you check the events conducted by these accommodations and also check their Instagram pages. For instance, at Sydney Web, we have um, yoga every Sunday, we have bi-monthly movies and games nights, we've celebrated festivals like the Chinese New Year, um, Diwali, Christmas, etc. Pro tip 2, if you know someone from before or have met someone at the LSE Offerholder events, you can take a flat with them by putting in a request. This really helps ease the process of settling in a new place. Lastly, whichever hall or room you choose, remember it's you who can turn a house into a home. Don't forget to bring pieces of your life from back home to London because trust me, it makes a difference. If you wish to know more about choosing your future home, check out other videos by LSE on accommodation and happy home hunting.